Okay, we are back. And, uh... What I need to do now is I need to... Go into... The Undercity of Junon, basically. Because last time I was playing... I can't do any more side content yet. I can't get into here, which is the Crow's Nest. I have to access it through there. To get the last, uh intel for the phoenix another battle uh the proto relic mission and that the spring we also haven't played queen's blood in a bit and i'm sure we'll have a whole bunch of people in june on so yeah we're gonna see what june on has in store for us look at this look at how cool it looks and there's the uh, the cargo ship I assume we're going to be taking to uh, to Costa del Sol. Okay, so yeah, the high winds there. So I wonder, because I'm pretty sure in the trailer, right, we saw a hooded man that I assume might be Glenn, potentially, um, in June on. There's a whole bunch of stuff uh, I want to see from June on, obviously. We want to see the characters, hopefully everyone in their Shinra uniforms and stuff. Though I don't know I don't know if they're going to do that with Red again. I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. Um, yeah, and there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'd like to see, really. Are we going to have to do the minigame? Like the marching band minigame? Because fuck me, that was... That was awful in the original. It was so bad. Like, if they're gonna do something like that, at least make sure it's better designed. Uh, yeah, and th then there's some, like, certain character interactions I want on the, on the ship. But we'll see if they do that. Yeah, there's one character interaction in particular I want to see, and I fucking hope that they don't remove it from the game. Uh, yeah, we've got nothing else to do. I'm pretty sure I checked the item transmuter and everything to see if I had done everything regarding this. I mean, let's just take a look at it again. Craftsmanship 9, can't do that yet. Gold Needle, Planet's Benison, and Gold Dust. Can you check materials? You find them in... Do you not find them there? Apparently you can find them. I don't know. Let's add it to the to-do list, because why not? Zinc or a whole bunch of wood. We just need a lot of planets venison. I think I should buy a bone bracelet. I can craft this. Yeah, we're keeping this AP up on now, for now. I just need to get First Strike leveled up. Having that extra ATB is, uh, super useful.
There's nothing worth messing around with now. I will go and buy... I will go and buy those other armlets that I can get. Uh, hmm. Should I travel back to the grasslands so I can fuck around over there? Right, what do I need? Ah, uh, level four. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have. Limit gauge stagger. Increases the limit gauge charge rate by 5% upon staggering enemy. Okay. More MP. More defense. Maelstrom Strike. I need level 5 for that. Cloud and someone attack an enemy from all angles, striking swifter than lightning. Why is it question marks next to it? Is it? Oh, it's probably you, fear. It's probably you, fear, right? Because she's not in the party yet, so it's in question marks. We should be seeing her soon, right? She has to prop. She has to pop up really soon. Maybe at the crow's nest when we go there. Because I assume, because we know she's on the ship uh, at June on. We know she's around at that point. From the trailers and stuff. Very interesting. Cloud and Red have United Refocus. Okay. Well, what did I want to get? It was this, right? Yeah. I do need to get this, though. Barrett and Irish strike a pose and unleash a ranged attack. Effect of staggered foot, attack power boost, and staggered time extension. Let's take a look at this. Spamming shit. Wait, I'm sorry. Did she put shades on? Barrett's shades? <laughs> yes, she does. What the fuck? That's adorable. <laughs> She's the fucking best, man. How can you dislike her? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Fucking hell. Okay. I don't know what to get for... Do I want this? Yeah, sure. Bestial Barrage. T from red only a ferocious a fist and fang combo. Let's take a look at this. Sick. I mean, these are all really cool, but <laughs> let's be real, half of the time, you're not going to be using most of these. Like I said, I'm curious how the party structure works. You've got to be able to fully customize it at some point. You can't just have a bunch of presets. I just hope that's what they're going to do, because I don't know what it's... I don't know how it works right now. Uh, we'll get this, I suppose. 
So it's probably worth checking the combat settings. Oh, hold on. Here, I can edit the party from here. There's my answer. Why is that? Hold on, dude. Why is that not in party? Why is the ability to customize your party not in the party option where it should be? There's my answer. It's in combat settings. Why the fuck would it be in combat settings? That doesn't make sense. So I just need to come here and do that. So I've been doing it wrong the entire game because why the fuck would I know that? Genius. <sighs> okay. Well, I need to check these anywhere. Well, don't I get to customize this, though? I don't. That's weird. So Aerith has combat savior now she can use with Cloud. I basically just need to spam the fuck out of spell Spellbound Blast, because that move is absurdly overpowered. It does so much damage, and it's like the only thing that's keeping Aerith viable right now. It's a bit weird I don't get to customize the... Uh... Yeah, it's weird I don't get to customize where the synergy skills go. Right, I want to take this. Right on over here when I heard Gabe was back in business. If you're in the market for a ride, Gabe's Chocobos will get you where you need to go lickety split. It does cost money, but not much. I could just run back through the Mithril mines if I wanted to, though I don't think there'd be much reason to do that other than for XP. Right, so I'm back here because I just want to see if I can buy... The time of day has changed, obviously. I'm glad that he kept that consistent. That's really good. So, th there's no... Obviously, there's no day-night cycle, but it's really good that at least you can go through all these areas with a different time of day. Because it's, uh, you know, almost sunset. Good I came back for this, so I could transmute it. I don't know if those are better than anything I currently have. I'm guessing no. Finally, after taking the piss, let's continue to Junon. What have we got in Junon? I just need to also keep a mental note to actually try and use the uh, synergy skills.
And now that I actually know how to customize the party, because the game does not tell you how to do that. And it's in combat settings and not party. Even though anyone with a brain would put that there. Uh, Aerith. Oh, hold on. Ah, it lasts. Okay. So that's how it works, okay. So as soon as you activate combat savior with whoever, it, um... Sorry, it just, it lasts like a pretty good amount of time where they'll follow up on moves. Alright, that's where it wants me to go. Is there anything up here that's a little different? Uh, we have more little shitters. I wonder if that's like the main elevator up to the actual city. Well, we can't go that way. Is my enemy intel good? I'm Grand Port right. That's against. That's against Phoenix. Well, we're gonna get to. We're gonna get to uh, scan these eventually. Uh, next time I. When I next get the weaker version of Phoenix, I'll go back in and I'll do this again just to, uh, just to assess it. Anything I'm missing for upgrades? Nope. There's so many materia that we haven't got yet. We haven't got, like, Elemental or anything... We ain't got anything like that yet. All right. So all of this is Junon. Everything above us, below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Biggest. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop on. It's their friggin' mo. Oh, look at this, dude. This is the, uh... This is the Junon town, right? My word. And it looks about how you'd expect. Feels very claustrophobic, almost. Like it's been crushed by the city above it. That's the thing we need to climb up there to get to uh, the top where the high wind is. I assume we're going to be going up those stairs and stuff. And you're going to be able to climb up that. Though you probably take that elevator up, I assume. If that's an elevator. Actually, I don't think it is. I think it's part of the uh, crane. I think the crane controls are in there. Whatever. One moment. <laughs> Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Hmm. What? Avalanche. 
damage, huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. And be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? <laughs> She's worth every penny, man. Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Does Cloud not have a bounty? Surely he'd have one too. Probably slightly less than Aerith, because he's, you know, Behave not as important. I just, I thought it's weird that they didn't mention that. All right. Wagwan, everyone. Okay, what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent: by sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through, or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Yes. Card players. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Time. It's cool how all the other party members go off and just, you know, do things and just stand off in places. <laughs> Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky. What with the lack of sunlight. I truly appreciate the challenge. As always, I'd welcome tips about other promising spots. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood. Bending. All right. Time moving on, and the light. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. Yep. She's such a special girl. Yeah, I know about her. <laughs> Another buck store. Oh, what'll it be? Well, it's just it doesn't mean anything to me Come right now. Soon. Many years ago. This stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Aerith takes priority. Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Well, I know. I see that you've made and it used to be really annoying. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. 
Note that he said severe lack of sunlight, not complete lack of sunlight. Which the game keeps trying to assert is the case. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Oh my gosh! Actual customers! I'd assume you get customers quite often. Ooh. Crawler, Arch Dragon, and Kappa Wire. Let's get it. Come back again, please. <laughs> there you go. Weapon store. What have we got? <laughs> Probably nothing new. Probably the weapons that I already picked up. It seems that way. Well, that's so lame. That's so lame. If you skipped out on some of these in the mines. Alright. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. I should just do it. Just try the sword. Special delivery coming in. Oh fuck. I bet we could beat him. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But I don't get the feeling he's got any money. Oh, What's up, you I'm little shit? Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo. A team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gifts. Uh, like, it's not much, but... You know it's gonna be hard, isn't it? Um, I mean, I wonder if we're gonna have to beat Sephiroth in a game of fucking Queen's Blood. <laughs> that's, that's how the final battle goes. Lay him down. In fact, it's like, you, you can't beat Sephiroth uh, in a, a straight-up fight, so Cloud challenges him to a game he can win. <laughs> Don't be a pussy, lay him down. Oh, it's only a... <clears throat> it's only a tier 1 card. Would it be better than anything? Hmm... I don't like ones that, that go backwards. Whoa, d don't do that. Now we'll take one of those just in case. Okay, time to get my arse handed to me.
I don't know what play to make here. I want to put the officer down first. But I want to get the zoo to this slot here. This is... This is awkward. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to make this work. I'm, I'm so confused by that. I don't know how to make this work. Maybe I need another card to give me something else. We could just do that and then put the uh, GA unit down. Do that, and then we'll put Fat Chocobo down. That fucks them. Nice. <laughs> it worked. Um. I mean, I basically, I, I, I've got it, really. You can't do anything. Yeah. Fucking dominant. We pounded him. That fat chocobo player was huge. Now, did they say I had to do two matches? Yeah. Watch this guy be the better one. <coughs> Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. I didn't kill him. What you mean? I get the yoga for this, which... Okay. Doesn't look super amazing. This could work. So what do I... I think I do this, right? Then I play the J unit sweeper. Centrally. Or maybe I should do this. No, no, no. We need to advance up the board.
get fucked, dude. I am out braining them. I'm doing the strategizer tiger sizing. I'm making up words. That's how much I'm fucking on in them. But I don't want to stop there. Oh no, we don't stop there. Assert dominance. Oh, watch this. Look at this. Oh, get fucked. I took everything you had. Eat shit. You didn't even win a single fucking row. Get out of here. Leave. Get out the door. Bring me my next opponent. 25 and 0. Absolute blowout. Get fucked. Aww, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Well, to be fair, I just have the right cards. Don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. All right. Don't drop. Sit now. I should rest, actually. Not that it matters, we will be resting soon enough, but... Some fish and village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. Many, many years ago, the Republic bullied me. We are recruiting. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Alright, we got a, uh, another card player. We've already done that one. Huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? She has Shiva. That's quite fitting because um, Priscilla gives you sh the Shiva summon materia here, basically, around this part of the game. In the June on Undercity. So that's really cool. When played, spawn Diamond Dust of power 2, 4, or 6 in empty positions. Is it... F I assume it's just for allies. Interesting.
I feel like I'll get more use out of the ogre than the zoo. So I'll put you in. Another good player. Ah, that got rid of it. Oh, that's bad. I don't really have many players, to be honest. Yeah, I just got closed out. Well, restart. I'm gonna put you there. I got no choice. Can't let them t overtake. Think here. I can do this. Let's try and get Titan on the board if we can. That was a misplay from them. I think I locked them out. Yeah, pretty much. There we go. Easy. Another blowout. Uh, 
And we have ourselves Shiva. You took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. Alright. Fucking keep yapping. So we are... <coughs> basically done. In this little area. Let's go inside the inn. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! Anybody, please! It's Priscilla. That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. Yep. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! It's bottom Please. swell. We're gonna be fighting bottom swell. Or whatever it's called Please. in this game. Please. Hey! Look who it is! Not the dolphin. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, look at how cute he is. the gigantipede theme. Come on. Look at this ugly fucker. Terror of the deep. Alright. Let's get a cess up. Weak to lightning. A monstrous aquatic creature that lives off the coast of Junon. It possesses a buoyancy that allows it to swim at high speeds through both the water and air. It ingests seawater, then expels it with explosive force to stun prey. Inflicting enough damage on its head while it is in the water will pressure it and cause it to take to the air. Okay. Attacking the water cells it creates will pop them. Motherfucker. This is my problem with the combat, man. I'm just about to use a move and then the game... Keep it 
Stop doing that! Dude, fuck off! It's so annoying! <laughs> it's so annoying how it works. The enemies need to chill the fuck out with their movement. It's just going across the entire screen. I can't keep up with this fucker. I just can't keep up. I'm just gonna block every attack and I can't even get into the air. I can't get into the air, homie. I ha I didn't equip Phoenix. It's fine. Heal up. Come on. What now? Watch the water. Oh fuck. Uh, where's Aerith? So it's my turn? Uh... Thunder on the head. Hurry up! God, that does so much fucking damage. Get away from it. Just need to soldier in. I'll take that. No more playing nice. Which one's better? Firework blade or Oh, it's firework blade both ways. Fuck it. On it. Let's go! Uh, Fuck out of here. He was annoying. I can barely hit him. <laughs> Cute. Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over CPR here. mini game. Except with you for this time. <laughs> Probably not. Again. Oh, look at him. Man, dolphins are great, aren't they? Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. Somebody! God, she's so cold. Don't just stand there, help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start. Oh. Was the concern that is like, oh no, her boobs. Was that the concern there? <laughs> why why was he so awkward about that? Picks the wrong girl, creep. 
I've seen you before. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a bit on the nose game. As if we didn't know this. They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron! Dum, 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 dum. Uh... <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Okay. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Ah, look at this cheeky fucker. He was just hid here. There's probably someone down here as well. Down here. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hope. Why is everyone a manlet in this game? They're so sure. You could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogoth. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like. But you'll never beat my years of experience. He gives me Zemzalet. Raise the power of allied cards on the affected tiles by three. Okay, so very big. That's... That's pretty good, actually. With the coverage it has. But I got Shiva. Oh, I forgot about... I've got about these. I haven't used uh, Screamer at all. Ooh, he's a t he's a tier three, but he has full coverage, which is really good. I feel like I'd get more use out of him than this dude. And let's see if we can get rid of someone for Shiva. Get rid of you. I didn't find Magic Pot useful. Alright. Let's do this, this time. And then I put you here, and we'll try and get Titan on the field quickly. Uh... Should I do that? I shouldn't do that, I don't think.
Difficult go of it, man. That how what, it uh, fuck you. She didn't buff she didn't buff my team at all. What the fuck? I got cheated, she didn't buff my team at all. So much for diamond dust, it didn't do anything. What the fuck? Game lied. The game lied. Why didn't that not work? Get out of here, you dumb bitch. You're terrible. You're awful. Get the fuck out of here. Worthless her? Huh? That'll work, so I can put Fat Chocobo there. Maybe not. Fuck. Fuck's sake. I gotta do that anyway. Alright, well I gotta hope for the best. I got a pretty big point advantage. They're just going to play a card that wins them. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, you get you out, you're useless. Seriously, read it. When played, spawn Diamond Dust of Power 2, 4, or 6 in empty positions. That's a lie. She never did that. Liar! Liar! You lie!
So she buffs them. That fucking awful. It's so bad. Man, Shiva's worthless. So you'll just randomly buff them, of course. Yeah. Here I was thinking that I might, you know, get something worthwhile, but apparently not. Does it, like, change per round? It, it changes per round, which is the only benefit. But why would I give them any buffs? They have a lot of points on us, man. That gives a buff to them, though. Let me check their points. No, I didn't go up. Okay, so I think I barely win this. Yeah. Just about. They didn't do that before, though. That's what annoys me. It did not do that before. It didn't spawn any icebergs or anything. Goodness me. I love when, it, when it's inconsistent. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know. Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. As soon as I'm allowed to go there, yeah. you guys those were some fancy moves look at the dolphin adorable Kids allowed in here. No grown ups. <laughs> Look at all the frogs. Wonder what that's all about. Oh god, ninja run. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now how the hell did you I just gotta say I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could Come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! We won't be sorry. Promise. Later! Um... 
I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? them slipping away one by one and the tighter I held on the more I lost I know I felt the same it was like they were sucking them straight out of my head what the hell it's open who's she talking so about to that Yuffie kid what do you think she wants with us be honest. Uh, I. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. Gonna peek in. I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn you, whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Oh, was it him? Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. What the fuck was that? Alright, that's something super important. Who is she talking to? Because that's not red. That wasn't red. There's some there's some fucking finicky stuff going on here. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to bring that up with her again at some point, Cloud. Just saying. Hold on, we're gonna get the chest. Empress's scepter. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look at that first. Radiant Ward. Contra a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells. Strengthens Aerith's basic attack. Holy shit. Grants invi- wow. So is it actually invincibility, or is it, is it just like immune to physical damage or some fucking stupid shit? Because this could be really, really, really useful. Because it's the sort of thing she needs with how long it takes for her to build up ATB. Finish off an enemy with a standard attack launch from the ward. Okay. Now, I think it has... Yeah, I don't get the uh, linked slots, which is kind of a problem. But I just need the ability, so... Oh, uh, I need to go to upgrade. Lightning damage, ward... That's got to be useful, right? We've got to put that in. Uh, 
Ugh. Jesus. Okay. What have we got to talk about? But it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... Hmm. Did I pick the wrong option there? Hmm. I feel like I might have. But that's true though. That is the first time he met her. That wasn't a lie. You'd think that'd be the correct one. Like, the high affection one. Because it's like he remembers the first time. I gotta be honest, man. I feel like I picked the wrong option there. Hmm. I think I want to roll it back. Can I save scum? Am I allowed to save scum? Maybe the one with... The flower in the face is considered offensive because he says shoved, as if he's treating it like it's rude. Feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. Yeah, she's not talking to Red. So who is this? Who is this? I'm safe scumming. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. We are safe scumming. I don't care. Because I feel like I made the wrong choice. Come in. Even though what I said was technically the thing she should appreciate more, which is literally the first time they met, but fuck dialogue, I guess. I guess it doesn't make any sense. So he says the church, right? The church, right? Oh, so close. That was the second time. What the fuck? Oh yeah, right. That was fun, wasn't it? Hopping from roof to roof together like that. What the fuck? Oh, game, what do you? I don't get it. Is it supposed to not build it up that much because she's on, like the two grade? Is that what it is? I don't know how the affection system works, so I don't know if I'm doing something right or wrong. I feel like that's gotta be the... I don't know. Whatever, we saw both of them. If I did something wrong, fuck it. I just don't want to miss that scene later, so I've got to be super picky. Extremely picky. Alright, assume Tifa's in here. Yeah. No, Red. Right, so he's on the same affection level, so he shouldn't go up. He should not go up, no matter what I say. I'll assume that... I assume it can't go up unless you, uh... I'll assume it can't go up beyond a certain threshold. I'm gonna assume that. So Tifa's on this floor, yep. Oh. Hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I you regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in.
I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Uh, I think I actually think I do. I think he's the one that writes the letter to her, doesn't he? Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <laughs> You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. For clarity, it's not in Cloud's character to say enough, that he's huh? just thinking about her. It's not in Cloud's character, he wouldn't say that. <laughs> Hate to break it here, he wouldn't say that. I'm only trying to pick the options I think characters would say in the moment. And he sure as shit wouldn't say that. He wouldn't say that to anyone, by the way. That's not a bias thing. I don't think he wouldn't say that to Aerith either. In fact, I think it's weird that that line's there. Seems very out of character. Why do I need lightning? Why are y'all giving me lightning? So, okay, so it does seem like if your character level is already at a certain point, it'll, um... If your character, like, relationships at a certain point, it won't push it any further. So maybe my paranoia wasn't actually that crazy. Maybe that's what that is. But I had to check. Was that, his, was that his stab wound from uh, Nibelheim, I'm guessing? Even ask for his permission, all right. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wu Tai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wu Tai's not to be trifled with. <laughs> Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something. 
something we do. Come here. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else? But a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. That's Roach. That's Roach. So when the president steps out. Oh fuck. Oh. Wow, tell us more. Okay, you want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Oh, God. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey. It is him, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck. You should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you. <laughs> What's your problem, I dude? Would love to do it. Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Balcony breaks. Come on down and say hello. Can I drop jump over? No. Are we having another duel or something? Is that what this is? Makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task retrieving one Aerith Gainsbury. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> It only takes two More motivation to kick his ass then. I ain't letting her go. And a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. You got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs. So, 
I can go to the crow's nest now. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. The super bright, like, shines a glare is really annoying. Stop doing that game. The Frogmaster, ah. Uh... That's down here that I went to before. Too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> We're gonna fight them as frogs, though. Shit. 
Do they all have the same moves? Seems like that. Fucking goofy ass shit. What in the world? <laughs> that shit is bizarre. What is this? Press circle to leap over incoming obstacles and dash to safety with R2 or L3. Remain on the platform as long as you can to approve your amphibian finesse. Get knocked off though and you'll croak. What? The fucking Mario Party. I get multiple enfeeblement rings. Okay. So basically just keep going with it. I didn't get all three, did I? Yeah, okay, well... I was literally about to beat it. Fuck off, Jim. I do want to do it again. Come on. Why does he get the special looking frog, but no one else does? Dude, 119. If I would have just stayed in the air for a fraction of a second longer, it would have been it.
Oh. Oh. Perfect. I got it. Fuck you. No. I got all the rewards, that's all I want. Fucking goofy ass shit. <laughs> so silly. you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Oh, wait. I have to protect him? Oh, boy. Oh, no. You're gonna get turned into Donna Meat, man. How old were you when you left home? 14. Wait, from spring, so... 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small-town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But, but, two thousand gil. She offered me that to make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down though. Didn't need it since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? Probably. <laughs> There's a chest there. Can I get this first? Answer's probably not. What is this music? <laughs> oh yeah, I need to be using Aerith. Killed him instead of her. That annoys the fuck out of me. It does say that, right? Yeah. With a standard attack. I hear you scoffing. 
You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Character stuff's really good, man. What the fuck did she do? Stop doing that, I'm trying to get back in my ward. I'm still taking damage, so... This was a lie. Let me reread the ability because I'm still taking damage. It says. Yeah. Conjure. Oh, while casting spells. I figured that just meant what I'm doing right now. I mean, that's still good. And it's a pretty big area. Right. I figured using basic attacks were also considered spells. I guess they aren't. How dare I assume that? How dare I use my fucking logical brain and assume that she casts spells all the time, so obviously spells are everything she does. I'm about to use the move. This is quite the long jaunt. Oh boy, new enemy type. 
Track from Remake. Sandstorm Drake. Attacking the aura that shrouds it will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawned, and once it has vanished, the Drake will become pressured. Attacking it from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. Oh. You have been petrified. Oh, fuck. Taking a certain amount of damage while in this state will turn you to stun, rendering you incapacitated. Avoid damage until the status wears off. Uh, or cure the ail ailment with a sooner remedies or other spells or items of similar effect. Oh, shit. Deal with that. I can't really lock onto enemies properly. So messy. Don't overdo it. Too much? That'll do. Got the ability. So, do I want to re equip her other staff? Let's look at her uh, upgrades first. Yeah, it'll get a linked materia slot when she upgrades it. But that's a while off. I don't know why she's ahead of the other characters, though. That's a bit odd. Yeah, and this one's better because it does more magic damage. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. 
You've got our stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, what's looking for you, dude? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. All right, we've opened this area up. Ah, there we go. Piano stuff. I was wondering when the game was actually going to give us, like, music sheets and stuff. It turns out it's going to happen now. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. That was just an expression, right? <laughs> Not literally blown away. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Kyrie. Kyrie, yep. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer. No such thing as fate, man. Go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around and that Channeling my inner Kratos with that line of thinking. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that Merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was, like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help, or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. Can we even get to Fort Condor from here? Or is it going to be at a different location? Alright. We got another area to explore. I want to see what's going on here. about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. If you achieve an A rank in a performance, speak with Dorian and he will reward you for your musical prodigy. Right, but last time, I remember, it was absurdly hard to get the, uh, star. I, I think you had to literally get perfect. The piano to every of so the I world. hope that's not an expectation, because that's really strict. Hmm. 
No, because I haven't done anything yet. On our way, let's go. Lucky that Cloud knows how to play the piano, by the way. It's just another skill he happens to have. Uh, select piece. <clears throat> uh, put it on three. Yeah, put it on three. I think that's what I had it on before. It's a nice balanced option in terms of speed. Because I feel like I get baited by how slow it is normally. Let's try and focus. And I say that and I fuck it up. Jesus, man. Fucking hell. Fuck, dude. It doesn't stop. Hopefully that was decent. I did get an ear. Yeah, you can get stars, dude. See, that annoys me because I feel like I'm going to have to get a star at some point. Uh, I mean, we'll try it on the lowest to see if we can see what this is like. The, point, the thing is, I'm so used to just doing it quickly. I've got to train my mind to not do that. Slow. Slow. Don't hit it immediately. Slow. So I didn't miss any. 
but I got a bunch of goods, so I don't know what that's going to do. Still got an A. I think that was probably your worst score as well. Look, guys, I've got to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to be getting the stars. I hope there's no fucking achievements tied to that. You cannot miss a single great. You can't miss a single great. You can't miss anything. You can't get bad. You can't get good. You've just got to get all greats. Don't miss anything. Get a full combo. I don't think it's doable. I don't know. I think unless you, you're some kind of DDR master, I don't think you can do it. And I hate that. I don't like being locked out of stuff because I'm not some fucking bona fide, like, absolute rhythmic god that can never make a mistake. There has to be some leeway on it. Alright, well, I'm hoping that there is no trophies required for that, because I'm basically locked out of doing them. There's no way I'm capable of doing that. I don't have the patience for it. No I don't have the talent to... for it. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. I'm serious, man. I'm fucking paranoid. I feel like it's going to expect me to get a star on these. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like that if it expects that. I don't... I, I feel like perfection should be something that players can choose to do if they want to. For personal pride. I don't like being forced into being perfect. I don't like that. I don't like being locked out of stuff like that. Death Wheel, Ignalisk, Scrutiny, and Hellrider. Interesting point, we haven't seen any of the Devil Rides yet. <laughs> they normally spawned in the Grasslands area in the original, so they haven't done that here. Any folios? No. I mean, there is for Barrett and Red, I guess. Should look at theirs. Uh... Oh, that's cute. It holds a hand so that she doesn't go flying back. So much personality in these moves and everything like that. Uh, I'll probably just get some stat stuff. Oh, what's this? Applies the protect status effect upon entry battle. That's really good, actually, for him. Uh, I'll hold on to that. What's this? What the f- <laughs> Dude, what is this? He turns him into a yo-yo. Does he consent to this? There's some, okay, there's some ethical discussions we're going to talk about with this one. <laughs> what is this? That's hilarious. Let's take this.
Hey, Chadley, buddy. Wow. Have you spotted any rabbits nearby? From what I've observed thus far, the ones in this region have a habit of hoarding trinkets in their burrows. So if you spot a burrow, you may want to dig it up with a chocobo. Who knows what sort of things you might find. I might have already been doing stuff like that. Any more challenges? Yep, Breath of Life. That's for assessing, I think, all of the enemies. Oh boy. Focusing on me. Jesus, man. Build ATB up, woman. Fucking hell. Take longer. Oh, dude, that was really cool. Uh, that was really cool, Cloud, because I think he has the uh, the combat follow-up thing. He protected Aerith and basically halted her momentum in mid air. This might just kill him.
Wait, I didn't stagger them. What? Just I had to stagger them? Oh, that's dog shit. Fuck you. Garbage. Why can't you why can't you just be kill them? Why do I have to why do I have to stagger them all? Fucking lame. Lame. Okay. Are you done? Can I actually play the game now? Right. Exploit their elemental weakness. What? What? Fucking video game! Come on! I can't move. I cannot move. I just want to fucking stagger him. Stop being cheap and shitty. Move, 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 stop. What a fucking pain in the ass this video game is. Yep, Aerith killed them, you stupid bitch. Stupid her. Yeah, that's a hitbox. That's a hitbox. Garbage. Stop doing stuff like this. It's not difficult when I can kill the enemy before staggering them. It's annoying. Just let me kill the enemies in the challenge and move on. It's not interesting. These little, like, you know, these little constraints are not interesting at all. They are nothing to the combat. Stop, man. There was no silly shit like this in a remake. I gather from your expression that you're eager for more. I hope you won't mind my mentioning. So what is Well, I, how do I ch I need to go to spells, I think. No, abilities. Well, it's not going to tell me in abilities. I still need to scan that, yeah, Grand Horn. Not doing that yet. But I've observed that world intel collection is stalled of late. I'm certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon a task. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. How the fuck did- wait, how did I get here, and how do I get back? <laughs> oh, this way. I'm a rambling, gambling fella. You with an agency? Here to sign me? 
No way. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Want to play against a future celebrity? What did I get last time? Sc scrutinize. Death wheel. That's a weird one. And Hell Rider. Lower the power of enemy card. That's pretty good. Let's put him in. I have two Screamers, interestingly enough. Let's use these. Have I just screwed myself? I fucking have. Well, see ya. Shiva can do that. She can screw me. Alright, well, where's that bitch? Get out. Get the fuck out of my deck. You do not belong. Uh... I don't know, man. A lot of these cards are worthless. You can't- anything that, like, gives you cards going backwards don't mean anything, because you need to be always advancing. You need to cut your enemy off. If you don't cut them off quickly, you lose. It doesn't matter what you do. Like, it's just not good. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Good.
When destroyed, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles. When destroyed... God damn, dude! You only can't wipe the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won! I might actually not be cut out for this! <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day! That's it! I could feel my spirits rising! I knew I was a musical genius! That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back! Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good! One of these days I'll make it to the big time and give my folks You're out of rhythm, man. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Cool, but don't do that in my ears. They have hookers. Or hookers, whatever, however you pronounce it. They literally are fucking hippies. The Condor Watching Society at Condor Hill. Our beloved Condor has not graced the skies above Junon in quite some time. We worry for her welfare and wish to hire someone to prepare a culinary feast that she will find too tempting to resist. Those willing to provide assistance are invited to join us on Condor Hill. Right, so is I is, Hold on. So is the Crow's Nest this game's version of Fort Condor then? Because technically, the people of Fort Condor were against... Shinra. So I guess that would make sense if that's what this is. Oh, I probably shouldn't go after him. He's the, uh... He's the Giga Chad. Let's do this person first. Hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? Mind flight. Oh my goodness. Look at that boulder's gate. <laughs> What's going on here? Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one while this card is in play. That's a... Uh... Hmm. So that's like a desperation move, I guess. I don't really like those. It... Because you can't really utilize them all that well. I... I fucked up. I didn't mean to put it there. I actually fucked up. Let's do that.
weird. There's not much I can do here. <sighs> well, they're kind of screwing themselves a bit, but it might be enough, though. That's kind of the issue, yeah. Yeah. I'm still ahead, but probably not for much longer. Yep. Cringe. 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 Must be fun to cheat. Getting outplayed, man. I don't know what to do here. I don't know how you play this. Because there's no point me using stuff that, you know, negatively affects them, because it's not going to fucking help me in any way. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to beat this. Ugh. I just I think I just need to lock them off of playing cards as soon as I possibly can. I think I just need to lock them down at the middle and stop them from doing stuff. That's the best that's my best shot, I think. That's about all I can muster. Don't know. I'm at a loss. Hmm. Neither of those help. Look how useless these are. Oh, fuck, dude. I've just got, I've got nothing. I just have nothing. I've got nothing to play. I've got nothing to counter anything she does. I don't know what cards to play. I just don't know what the play is. And I don't know what cards they're using half the time with what buffs they have. I've, I've got nothing. I don't fucking know what to do here. Give me that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what the play is. I don't know what the play is. I just don't know what the play is here. I don't know what I can do with the cards I have. Oh, fuck me. This is frustrating. I, I've got... I've literally got nothing. I've got no moves. I can't do anything. I've got nothing. This, but like...
just debuff some of the top row. missing what can i do i just look at the deck and i think i've got nothing i've got nothing to deal with here like stuff that destroys their car i don't know 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 what to do i don't know i look at this and i just it's fucking mind-numbing Why, like, why would I go with this when it's going to affect my stuff? This, I don't know what the benefit to that is. I think most of these cards are dog shit. They don't help. This screw me. I mean, maybe I have to bring Shiva in here just to wrestle with RNG. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Maybe I just needed to take up some slots. And hope for the best. Don't know what to do. Hopefully that will slow him down. No, I need something that has... Fuck you. Suck my cock. Fuck out of here. Jesus, man. I mean, I could put him down. Will this still work? Or not? It does still work, okay. Lucky me. Um. This still gives me a buff, so still better to do that.
Just about fucking hell. Your deck was insufferable. You feel when you're playing someone. You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few friends can. Nope. Because the key to world peace is in nope. violence. It's joy. I'm gonna get violent playing this fucking game. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. No. No. Gaming, no. I'm counting on you. And this other twat's gonna be harder. You know he will be. You know he's gonna have some bullshit OP card that just fucking eviscerates you. Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. Sure. Right, what card did I get? The Mind Flayer. Let's read what it does. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on effect to tiles by one. <sighs> See, I don't want to rely on the same bullshit that they used. Because that's not fun. I get Midgard Soma. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. Well, how often that's how often is that going to work? I'll just go with what I have. Hope for the best, man. Oh boy, here we go. And now he's basically just cheesed me out. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. 
I'll fucking dash his head into that board of his. Twat. Um, the problem is they get the second turn, which basically means that they get advantage whenever they fucking do anything. They get advantage in the middle of the board, so they always have, uh, you know, they can always outplay me. Like, who the fuck allowed that shit? Clown world. Lock him out. Should be it. Fuck out of here. That's the play. Just, just cut them off. Just cut them off. Don't let them do anything. It doesn't even matter if you put weak units down. Just cut them off. Tell you what, he was easier than the uh, last chick. This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? returned no that's impossible it's just a silly card game <laughs> truth about queen's blood that is not that well designed <laughs> i don't know what the fuck was that you okay were you granted a transcendent vision as i too was you look as though you've just seen a ghost saying that i'm reminded of the story of ladrell balmon the creator of queen's blood after he started selling cards he spoke of hearing a strange voice he then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Don't know if I'd call it deep. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Okay. Don't know what the fuck that vision was. Help us take back our seed. People of the Crowsen. All right, you know what? While I'm here, I actually need to um equip Phoenix.
deals a large amount of fire damage with repeated attacks. Ultimate attack, Rebirth Flame, deals a massive amount of fire magic damage and heals the party. Yeah, that's top tier. And the max level allows a uh, revival. Is it below? Alright, I've got to get down somewhere. <laughs> down there. I assume. And while I know that this is painful for us to admit, it's a bad time. Keep a sharp eye on The legend also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the as thanks for his fire, the Great Bird brought forth eerie fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. Last one. Circle X, X Circle. I'm sure these are going to get really hard at some point. <laughs> I do need to fight him again in order to scan for uh, the dude, the Grand Horn.